Hello, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel, I'm SimTwitch and today I wanted to do a little experiment to just see what the difference is between uh, hot lapping in the day and hot lapping at night um, and I don't think it was a very good experiment uh, after conducting it uh, I'm probably going to come back and visit this again uh, it just wasn't the sort of car I, I like driving but um, I thought I'd do something different so this is a 65 Ford Mustang it's the tune that has number two on the leaderboard in uh, B class at night on this track, uh, Sebring Club. Yeah, this is the footage of the day. This was the first decent lap I put together. I couldn't really tell too much difference in the day and the night. It didn't feel different to drive at all. Um, like I didn't feel I was braking later, I didn't feel I was um, I had less grip but there was definitely a difference in the times because even the laps that I did badly in the day were quicker than I could do at night um, but I would say when I did it at night the lap the quality wasn't as good overall so I will revisit this again at some point. Um, this, I believe, is the best lap I managed in the day. Um, I wasn't paying any attention to the positions on the leaderboard or anything. I was just trying to compare myself against myself. Uh, I wasn't going for any particular position on the leaderboard. So this this was definitely the best clean lap. I did a better lap. It was, oh no, it was this one that was... This was um, dirtied by that. Just cutting the curve a bit too fine. But I just could not replicate the lap. Um, so... I'd say if, if you're being rather generous, that little curb cut probably was quarter of, worth quarter of a second if you're being really generous I don't think it was that much because uh, I had such a good run through the first part of the lap um, so that was a 1 minute 10.7 the ghosts that I was following were um, similar times I believe I think it's a 108 8 that I'm following and I was trying this was a dodge Dodge Dart I think I was following I couldn't find anything like the Ford Mustang in the um, in the daytime leaderboard I couldn't find anything similar there's a lot of bone shakers on both leaderboards and I was surprised the Lotus 340R wasn't there I thought this would be a handling track and I thought that would dominate before I'd look at the leaderboards uh, I can't remember well is it the Honda S800 maybe? I'm probably mis misremembering it. I think I've got some leaderboards at the end to compare times, so we'll have a look. I can't remember off the top of my head. This was a few days ago I recorded the footage, maybe even coming up to a week ago. Um, I do a lot of recording of footage and then editing I do a set like a couple of days of that and then do audio after editing it together, do a voiceover. That was my best lap in the day. I ended up doing 25 laps in the end. I got fed up of it. I didn't didn't agree with the car. Uh, was that the Icesser I saw on the leaderboard there? Um, at the top. Oh no, it was the I think the Jeep. Jeep CJ5. I think this may be the best lap of the night this oh, I was following a bone shaker that's a 109.7 I think this lap so you can see the bone I thought the bone shaker might have been a power car that's why I chose the ghost but um, it was handling car so it was complete opposite of this it really wanted to slide out through that section what turns that turn three or four yeah this corner 
kept running wide, I couldn't get anywhere near the apex other than that one lap I dirtied in the day. Um, yeah, it didn't feel like I had less grip. I, I couldn't tell myself that I had less grip, it's just the times were worse. Um, I don't know if other people would have felt a difference, but I, I really couldn't tell that I, it was just darker. I didn't find any any difficulty in spotting the breaking points. Um, I guess maybe there's something to do with track temperature it means you have less grip. I'm guessing. I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah, by I did 11 laps. This was straight after the. Session. That was actually my best lap, that lap 7 of that first session. Then I came back, this I think is the Ford Mustang that I went up against a 1091 this time was. This was number 2 on the night leaderboard. The night leaderboard is a lot less populated so I am much higher up. I think I'm top 30 off the top of my head whereas I was like top 70 on the day, but that's just because the uh, that is because the day one is much more populated. So I forget what I was thinking. Have a mind lapse. A lot of them you probably get used to that if you follow me often. A lot of mind lapses, especially in the early days of making videos. Yeah, so this was the second session, this was maybe three or four days later, uh, I did a bit of, I had a few days of just solid uploading because my internet's so bad, uh, I got to the point I edit, edited the video um, and then I had to go, because I was using a free one and it said it would do a watermark on over the video, and I thought it would just be in the corner but it was like completely over the top and I thought that would be too obnoxious to upload so I actually went and bought the editor the video editing software and yeah then when it came to uploading I found like a gigabyte video took like six hours the worst one was the first Alps video I've done on the Alps Festival circuit. I uploaded it, the 20 minute video, and then I found out, I realised I hadn't verified my account, and uh, it said you have to delete the video and re-upload it after I verified it. Um, it was a good thing I hadn't uploaded the Watkins Glen one at that point, because that was 15 minutes and one second, and that would have probably really frustrated me if that uh, happened. So yeah, there was a few days in between where I was actually uploading content. I've tried to upload a lot. I've uploaded a lot of videos and scheduled like the first week of videos going up. They're all scheduled, already, already made before I started this, just to so I have a base to go off of. And now I'm going to be doing it more. Uh, not, if, not as much like that. I'm not getting a week's worth of videos ready. Right. Yeah, so I did 14 laps in this night session, so I'd done 25 of each to make it fair, and I had no improvement in the second session. I think my best lap was lap. Is it this one? Is it lap? It was either lap 5 or lap 12. There I was really wide, so if I'd managed to top, get a clean lap together, I probably could have taken a second off, but it still wouldn't have been anywhere near. I don't think it would have been comparable to the time I set in the day. But I am going to revisit it on in a car that I I prefer to drive. Uh, nothing against the guy who made the tune, nothing against the tune, it's just I'm not a good driver. I just thought it would be fun to use a Mustang, I quite like the old Mustangs. But yeah. That is... Um, I think there's a one, one eleven point four. That lap at night, that was twentieth in the world. Yeah, seventieth in the world. 
and that's a 1108. Uh, but I could have gone much quicker in the day, as you saw. I think that had been I'd call it a 1100. I think I could have done if that lap had been clean. So uh, that's that. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Uh, I'll leave it at that for now. I will revisit at a later date. But bye for now.